lost in my mind. I get lost in my mind. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wednesday with Skylar, and this week we're talking about the emotional and mental aspect of medically transitioning. So to start, I'm six months on hormones, and already a lot has changed with me emotionally and mentally. The best way I can describe it at this point in my transition is to say that I'm finally growing up. And by that I mean that I'm both mentally and emotionally maturing. One of the worst parts being pre to me was that not only was I stuck looking like a 15 year old boy, but I was also stuck mentally and emotionally as a young boy in many aspects. In this video I'm going to talk about two main issues that aren't much talked about within the trans masculine community. One, the change in how I process or don't process emotions. And two, the fact that I'm currently struggling with a feeling of loss for the person I was. I'm starting to deal with feelings of grief over the loss of the girl I was, or perceived as, for 21 years. Now, of course, I never associated mentally with her, but she was still a part of me. Almost like a sister, but closer than that. A twin sister, maybe. And while in my head, heart, and soul, I was never a girl, I physically was, and I was physically perceived as one for 21 years. And for 21 years I grew up with her. For 21 years I pushed her to hope, to believe, to dream. And for 21 years I protected her like only a brother could. And now I'm mourning what I currently see as her passing because for the longest time we both inhabited this body. But it came to the point where only one of us could survive and that one was not her. I'm not currently sure if this is a common feeling slash issue that arises in those who choose to medically transition, though I feel it is, but it's just rarely spoken of in fear of being judged or misunderstood. But for me, it is a reality, and it may become a reality for you as well. All right, now back to the first issue I said I would talk about. My ability pre-T to quickly and surely process emotions, and now that has slash is continuing to change. Pre-T, I was an extremely sensitive person. And when I say that, I mean that I was very much so in tune with my feelings, while I was feeling them, and also how others felt. Now, not so much. My range of emotions has changed. For example, pre-T, I could differentiate between the different kinds of sadness, different kinds of anger, different kinds of happiness. Now, I feel pretty much only sadness, anger, happiness, and excitement. And that's pretty much all I feel. And when I'm sad or angry, it takes me a lot longer to process why I am sad or angry. And if I'm not careful, the frustration I have with processing these emotions will lead to simply reacting with anger. The mental and emotional changes have been so up and down that I'm going back into therapy soon just to help sort through things. I definitely recommend anyone who is medically transitioning to keep up with therapy because I feel that with the right therapist and if used correctly as a tool, one can really benefit a ton from it and sort through damn near everything. So those are just a couple of the things that I've been experiencing with the mental and emotional side of transitioning medically since starting hormone therapy. And there's honestly a lot more to it, but I'm not going to talk about all of it in this video and I'm actually planning on my personal channel to start like a, I guess a series of videos talking about the mental and emotional side of transitioning because I honestly feel like it's not talked about enough. And while the physical changes that come from medically transitioning through hormone therapy are super exciting because believe me I'm completely stoked and pumped about the changes I've had so far I really feel like the mental and emotional parts of transitioning are very important and shouldn't be left out so I'll leave the link to my personal channel below in case anyone's interested in hearing more about the mental and emotional sides of transitioning well that's all I have for this week so I guess I'll see you guys next Wednesday thanks for watching and cheers Mama once told me You're already home when you feel love I am lost in my mind Also something I forgot to mention If you couldn't tell by my robotic performance In this video and probably all my other ones since I've started hormones Is that it's really hard for me right now To process my thoughts as well as my emotions I'm hoping that's going to change But for now I pretty much have to read what I want to say off of my phone Otherwise, I'm going to sit here, like, umming and doing pretty much this. So, there's that part of all of, okay, whatever.